Hello, this is the Spirit Manga 187. Welcome back for another match of Shadow Era, where we are still playing Zeladar. And last match was a pretty nice match. I miss Red. Well, not miss Red, but I first day I was thinking of a different hero that I was facing, so I was playing pretty cautious against the the opponent. But he was playing an other hero than I thought he was playing, so that was a pretty stupid mistake. But at the end, it was a very close match. We were with uh, our back against the wall almost the whole match, but we have won, so that's really nice. So we are playing against a granite today. Let's just give him the hi. Have fun. Well, I didn't play against a granite for a long time. I also have one granite deck myself, uh, allied based, based. it's a pretty fun deck to play but uh, in my opinion it's not good enough to uh, to get a high rating with it so that's why I decided to stop playing that deck I tested it out and it wasn't really as good as I hoped it was uh, so what are we going to do here we are going to sacrifice a card, and that will be the Dead Collector, I think. Um, no. We are going to sacrifice our Mind Control, and we will play. Uh, what are we going to play? Let's just play out our Dead Collector and attack so I have to think uh, a bit more about the deck because you know, I'm telling this every match but I haven't played Zelda that match that much I've played it sometimes in the past uh, but I have to think uh, about my choices and which cards I'm going to play a bit harder than the Amber Rain deck so he's playing a Fatted Longbow Question is, is he going to pump it up? Yes, he go. He does it, and he's going to hit my deck collector, and it's dead. So let's just get rid of the fury and terror. I don't think we need it against him. This is four durability left. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of it. So I don't like it. Uh, that's nice. We'll just play it again. Well, that's a pretty useless card. <laughs> I never saw anyone playing that card, I think. Uh, let's just attack again. So I'm really bad at names uh, of the cards. I always forget the names and some cards, I've seen them before but not really taking a good look at it. But I've seen all the cards but yeah, that card he just played, I think it's pretty crappy. I cancelled my card but I was able to play it again. So it didn't matter. Uh, so our opponent has a very large deck, as I see now. I'm a bit multitasking uh, at the moment. I'm some downloading some uh, episodes of Boardwalk Empire. I don't know, maybe you guys watch it. It's a pretty cool series from HBO. Just started again. Um, let's see. What are we going to do here? Let's get rid of this one. I'm going to use our ability and get rid of the Iron Man Garage and we'll just enter in here. So what I've noticed with Saladar, when I play against Saladar, it's a lot of... Uh, I really win the game or I really lose the game very hard. But when I play Saladar, it's always a tough match. It doesn't matter who I'm playing against. I, I really never had a game that I yeah, just won in turn 5, you could already see from like yeah, he's going to win this, or you are so far ahead of your opponent, but no, not really. And if our opponent ally is killed in combat while part of my line is play, you draw a card. Well, that's pretty nice. Let's just cast out our death mage. And I think it's going to die next turn. But we'll see. And probably going to play that card that costs 5 resources, 2-2, two, two, weapon, 
and if an ally dies of your opponent then you gain 3 health if you kill it with the, the weapon soul seeker or something it's called I don't know oh, there comes a poison arrow at the death mage and another face down card how many resources did that cost? two I think because I forgot how many poison arrow cost oh, let's zoom out of it yeah, so that card probably, if I play an ally, it's going to die. So, let's just draw some cards again. And we'll get rid of our... Yeah, it doesn't matter what that mage. Let's just throw away our dead mage. And we'll just end turn here. We've got nothing to play at the moment. He's at 23, so I'm not dealing a lot of damage, but... I always thought Saturday was a rice deck, but... Maybe I need to switch up some cards uh, from the deck. Because I play Morbid Acolyte two times. Uh, two times Death Collector. Four times Death Mage. Anti-Matter two times. Servitai, two of them. One Leyline Nexus. And there comes a weapon again. He's going to hit me in the face for one. And he's going to end this turn. Now let's just get rid of the Shadow Fawn. What does this say? Yeah, okay, nice. Um, what are we going to do? Are we going to draw some more cards? Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, we didn't draw any Iron Knight garage, what I hoped for. Then I could play it, at least. So damage him for two. And yeah, let's just use it a bit. Let's go crazy, let's go all in. <laughs> Boom. And we'll end turn. So I'm at 258 rating, I think. So we're fighting back against uh, trying to get the 260 up again with the Zelda deck. Uh, we had a lot of rating with the Amber Rain deck before. 265, 270 was max. And I tried to reach the 300 rating points, but it really seems like an impossible thing to do. Because with Shadow Era it's also, you also need a bit of luck. Because when you sacrifice a card one turn, you might need it very hard the next turn. So it's always hard to make the right choice. So here comes a bad sender. So we have a full hand now. And what are we going to sacrifice? I think the Garage. Uh, no, it's going that. It's going to be killed anyway. Yes, that trap. There it is. So we have some mana left, some resources. How much does that have? Two durability. And um, are we going to draw cards, or are we going to gain life? We are going to draw some cards. I think I have five cards in my hand. Drawing another and discarding one. Um, let's just get rid of this one. And we'll keep one of the infinity cores just in case. You never know. I could discard it, but then I would never retrieve it. And the morbid acolyte, I can retrieve it with the infinity core. So I'll just keep that in my hand. And he surfatizes against the card that gives him uh, the ability to attack twice. There comes a night prowler. Uh, I've seen that card many times, but I also forget what that does. I'm uh, stealing a card from my hand. Okay, he cannot receive damage next turn, that's fine. Where are my allies? I need to stop sacrificing them. Uh, when you're here, deals combat damage. Do a good heal. Wow, this is really nice. Wait, what does it say when it... He took a Servitize, okay. This comma there is 200,000 euro. Um, well, well, well. Let's get rid of this one. Okay, I really want this gun gone, so... Let's just play the lane and Nexus on it. And... And turn. So he has one Servitize. I think he's going to sacrifice it. 
we can easily spot it with our sleeves so we'll be easy to notice uh, when he's going to play it or if he's going to keep it now he sacrificed it so there goes the silver ties what is he going to do now? he cannot be damaged by abilities ok that's fine by me let's get rid of another shadow font and what we are going to do now is playing a knight and a infinity core, why not and this one costs 6 resources, yes and this one has one left he has a lot of shadow energy well, we'll just try to lure out uh, him to use his ability on his weapon He's going to waste three of that shadow energy. Let's hope he's going to do that. So as you can see, I'm playing against a granite deck, and with, with, I can tell from it it's not very good deck, but it's still hard to beat. I did not lose any anything yet I, with the Zelda deck, I think, since I started playing this again. But all the matches are pretty tough. So yeah, there it goes. He's going to pump it up. So we have to destroy it next to him. Okay. Um, let's get rid of nothing. How many durability does it have? Five. This one has two now. Let's just get rid of it. Boom. This sucks, I can't damage him. Well, then we are going to play it the hard way. Let him attack himself. And we will play our Morbid Acolyte. And we'll unturn him. So we can still draw a lot of cards with the antimatter. And recycle our allies back with the infinity core. So this is a pretty nice situation. He has a lot of more, he has some more cards in his hand than I do, but yeah, we can really get rid of a weapon. Well, not get rid of it, maybe, but we can lower his duration, du durability by three. And there it is, Soul Seeker. And another face down card that he played for two resources. So it's going to counter an uh, ability that I'm going to play. Um, yes, so what it does is it's going to give it back to me, right? Yeah, we knew that already. Let's get rid of it and hit him in the face. And we'll enter him here. So, the Soul Seeker that's really one card that I don't want to see on the board because it has so much durability and with this ability, you can pump it up. And yeah, just something you want to get rid of as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. Then I don't like so see card. Yeah, it's really a card that you want to destroy. So what is he done here? He is going to doesn't matter. And we'll play our death mage. But he can't receive damage, but we just play it. Who cares? <laughs> Yeah, that Soul Seeker was really nice, but he's playing so many cards that he only, I think he only drew one. And that's why at the moment it's pretty bad to play a lot of cards. But if everyone's going to play a 60 card deck or something, then it would be more balanced. But if you play yourself 50, 60 cards, something like that, then you're pretty much doomed. Because you're not drawing the cards you want when you want them. Let's just attack. Giving him some damage and attack once more, drawing a card, and we will. What will we do? We draw some more cards, discard some more cards, and play another wolf, and we'll just end turn here because we can't use our ability of the hero. Well, we can do it, but it, he won't receive damage, and that made same story. So the next turn he's probably dead. 
unless he has something to hide into the forest or something that he cannot receive any damage but this is pretty much a win yeah let's just see what he comes up to a golden katar or something like that that doesn't do the lose their ability when he defends I think that's what it does it's going to attack on Wolven Tracker I think Ah well, yep, there it goes, dead, and hide into the forest. Oh, he's going to survive a bit longer. Well, we can remove the hide into the forest, and this one is pretty badly poisoned. Let's just get rid of the dead mage, I don't care. Um, oh no, we cannot use this again to hide into the forest. And that's it. Let's just sacrifice this one and draw some cards. And we'll just play our Death Collector. And use our ability to shuffle back one ally. Which one do we want? Let's just take uh, back a Shadow Knight. It's pretty big. And we gain some health. How much do we have? Let's have one. Okay. And this one has lots of it. Okay. There he goes, and he's going to destroy the dead collector, I think, I guess. So this opponent with granite is not playing lots of allies. And in my granite deck, I play Puan, I play all the brave Jasmines, uh, yeah, almost all the normal standard allies that you play in a in a hero in a hero deck. And to pump out the guitar and draw one of my cards from my hand. I hope not the infinity core. Nope. There's a mind control. And we'll skip it. Okay, he has 13 life left. Mm. Just use our ability here. And to 11. Use our ability. Done, 8. Use his ability to remove. Does he have a lily? Move from the game, hit him in the face. For 4. And uh, we, not, we do not want to hit him yet. We want to shovel something back first. Let's uh, say what we going to shovel back. We're going to draw it. So. Let's take back another death collector. No, why not? And we'll play a shadow knight. And we'll hit him in the face. Go to three. And we'll add down here. So I'm glad you don't lose the game when you have no deck left. So I didn't notice that. I was going pretty fast through my deck. I really need all the cards to beat him. So maybe if you have some tips or something, or say, yeah, you don't need to play that card, or I would uh, take out the Death Collector and play something else, uh, just leave it in the comments below and maybe I'll tweak the deck and switch some cards. Because I haven't played Salvador that much. Okay, he's going to draw another card because he killed my ally in combat. Will it save him? Is it into the forest or not? And he still has a mind control, yep. So next turn I'm able to use my ability, so if he doesn't have an into the forest, he's dead. Yep, there he goes. That's a win for us. 400 XP and 80 gold. And new rating 259. So we are trying to reach the 260. And we're still winning with Zaladar, pretty nice. Yeah, I hope you like this match, these are pretty long. And I really need everything to win for my opponent. Mm -hmm. Playing pretty rush, uh, and Zaladar is a pretty rush deck. You drop allies quick, damage your opponent's allies and his hero, and quick win. But not with this Zaladar deck, I don't know why, but I really need everything I, get, I got to finish off the opponent. 
But yeah, I hope you liked this match. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next match. Cheers!